Hello everybody, my name is Valentina Birne. I am a molecular biologist at the Institute of Forensic Medicine in Frankfurt, Germany. Let's imagine you are a homicide investigator and you arrive at the crime scene. You find a victim, but you have no idea who did it. You also find a biological trace of an unknown donor, and the DNA profile is created from the trace. You compare the DNA profile from the crime scene with DNA profiles in databanks and with DNA profiles of potential subjects in police investigations, but there is no match and you have no idea who it might be. What are you doing now? Well, I am a molecular biologist and that is why of course I would ask the DNA. For traces that cannot initially be assigned via an SCR profiles, other DNA testing systems are required, such as forensic DNA phenotyping. Forensic DNA phenotyping is a collective term for alternative molecular genetic analysis, including DNA-based prediction of externally visible characteristics. So DNA can serve as a biological witness in unexplained cases where there are no witnesses. How cool is this? In recent decades, several single nucleotide polymorphism, short SNPs, have been identified for this purpose. For example, the already published Hyrus Flex S system allows the estimation of human eye, hair and skin color, based on 41 previously recorded SNPs. The essay starts with the amplification of the genomic regions of the 41 SNPs of interest. In the following, SNPs are genotyped by snapshot mini-sequencing. The snapshot tool is based on labeling the SNPs with different fruits and dyes. Finally, the individual genotype pattern results into prediction values for eye, hair and skin color phenotypes, really using really complicated statistical calculations. This study focused on optimizing and validating the well-known Hyrus Plex S model. The validation was based on conducting a subject study involving 100 individuals with different phenotypes. The optimization of the Hyrus Plex S system allowed the analysis of all predicted 41 SNPs. Finally, 90% of eye, hair and skin color phenotypes were estimated with the matching phenotype. So let's go back to our unsolved crime case. You still don't have an idea who the suspect could be, but you are also still a molecular scientist and you know you have the DNA as biological witness. Well, you do what you do best and you analyze the DNA by the Hyrus Flex S system. And you find out that with a probability of 90%, the donor of the biological sample looks like this. Now you don't have the donor of the trace at the crime scene identified, but you can narrow down the pool of subjects in police investigation and you are already one big step further in your casework, thanks to DNA.